The dream is to go faster on land than ever before. Bloodhound is the name of the jet-powered car that a British team have developed over nine years. An airport runway in Newquay in the southwestern corner of Britain was the venue for crucial testing. At the wheel, wing commander Andy Green. And if anybody knows how to handle speed, it's him. He set the fastest time of over 1,200 kilometers per hour 20 years ago. The ultimate aim for this team is not only to break that, but reach 1,000 miles per hour which is over 1,600 kilometers per hour. These tests were kept down to a mere 320 kilometers per hour, below Formula One's top speed, a fifth of what they'll attempt at the next stage in South Africa. This was about testing steering, brakes, suspension, data systems, and a jet engine sourced from a Eurofighter Typhoon. The wheels will be solid aluminium because rubber tires would never hold together at this pressure. If you set a project up to, to run over 10 years and you're at the cutting edge of technology in year one, you certainly have to innovate to keep on that cutting edge so that when you get to year 10, you've moved forward and you're still on the cutting edge of technology. So I guess I would say it's, it's innovation um, backed by, of course, uh, sound finances. The Haskin Pan in northwestern South Africa will be the place this team look to go to the next level and beyond as early as next year. It's not quite all systems go for the world record attempt. There is plenty of work still to do, including a rocket motor to be attached. But Bloodhound's lead partner, Chinese carmaker Geely, say they'll finance this project through to its conclusion. The new key test was a success, showing a pioneering team that can break a sound barrier with a new land speed record firmly in their sight. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera.